In this video, I will show you how to use different package managers on Blend OS. Blend OS is an immutable Arch based distro that uses Podman containers to run and install applications. The containers can run different Linux distributions and include different package managers. And since all of that is so well integrated into the base Arch system, it seems like you can use different package managers at the same time, as we will see in this video. Now before we start, welcome to the channel, here you can find topics about Linux, Docker, game dev or software development in general, or short, agile dev art. If you like that kind of content, then give a like, subscribe and smash the bell icon to get notified when I release new videos. All the links from this video are down in the description and also down there are the timestamps, so you can skip any part if you want. I am now running Blend OS here, and as said, this one uses an immutable file system, which means that we cannot install applications the usual way using a traditional package manager. If you try it anyways, let's open the console. Blend is Arch based, so let's see what happens if we try to update the system using Pacman. It fails with an error, unable to lock database. Pacman doesn't work, but instead on Blend OS we can use containers. I will clear the terminal and open Blend OS settings. These are Blend OS settings, and here under Linux containers you can add containers of different Linux distributions. At the time of recording, nine Linux distributions are supported. I already added a container by the name Debian, which is a Debian container. I added this container in the previous video, where I also showed you how I can install the full Blend OS on a USB drive. And yes, this one is running from the USB drive right now. So if you want to run the full Blend OS from a USB drive yourself, then you can check out the link to the video up there or down in the description. And now I can use this container to install and run Debian applications. You can open a shell directly inside of it by pressing the play button. It opened a new terminal with my user at Debian, this is the container. Now since this is Debian, you can do sudo apt update and sudo apt upgrade. This will now update your Debian container. Debian is up to date and now let's do apt install htop. Now run htop. And here it is. HTOP was installed and it's running inside the container, which acts like a sandbox. It's not only HTOP running in there, but also the whole Debian environment. So Blend OS may use more RAM than your traditional Linux distro. This is all nice, but you don't need to use the container shell directly. So I will stop this one and close. You can access containers directly from your base system. To access an application inside the container, just write the application name, in this case htop, then a dot and the container name. This will now run htop from the Debian container, execute, and here it is, the same htop. Let's say I want to access the apt package manager, the same thing, sudo apt.debian update, or maybe neofetch.debian. That's all great, but there is also a way how you can avoid this dot container name notation, and it's called associations. For instance, we can say that apt should always be taken from the Debian container. Let's try it out. sudo apt update, and it works. Let's install a GUI application. sudo apt install gimp. Gimp is installed. Now let's add. Another association, GIMP from Debian. Now let's run GIMP. Here it is. It may take a bit longer to open applications for the first time. GIMP is now running inside the container, and this is now the Debian version of GIMP. And although it is running inside a sandbox, it is properly displayed on the base GNOME system. Now, Associations make sense if you're running applications in the console, like the apt package manager, but you usually don't run GUI applications in the console, like GIMP for instance. And you don't need to, because everything that is installed inside containers, you can also find inside activities. GIMP for instance, or 
HTOP. So if you're not using the console that much, then you can also start applications from inside activities and just ignore the associations. Now let's add a few more containers. I will add an Arch container by the name Arch. Let's add. It can take a bit to initialize the container. Finished, and here it is. Now let's connect to it, but this time from the base system console, write bash dot and the container name, which is Arch. We are now inside the Arch shell, and you can see this by at Arch here. First, let's update the system sudo pacman dash syu execute. System is up to date. Now let's install NeoFetch. I will also install the pcmanfm file manager. Perfect. Now I can exit. I am now back inside the base system and I will clear the terminal and also add a new association to pacman from the arch container. Here it is. Let's add a third container. Let's take Fedora and I will call it Fedora. Add it. Here it is. Let's add the association to DNF from Fedora. Now let's update Fedora. sudo DNF upgrade. I can use DNF directly because we added the association here. Execute. Fedora is up to date. And now I will install NeoFetch and Thunar, the file manager. Installed. And now to be consistent, I will also install Nautilus inside the Debian container. I can use apt directly because we have the association here for apt. Let's install. Perfect. Now I will open NeoFetch inside every container. NeoFetch Debian. NeoFetch Arch. And NeoFetch Fedora. So NeoFetch is now running inside every container and every NeoFetch thinks that it's running inside its own system. That's why we can see three different logos. And even though we are running three different containers, the memory consumption is about 1.8 gigabytes, which is consistent on all three. Now I will run all the different file managers inside the containers. So let's do Nautilus. Here we have two. The first one is on the base system and the second one inside the Debian container. I will choose the one from Debian. Here it is. Now PCMan.fm from Arch. There we go. And Thunar from Fedora. Perfect. All the containers share the same home folder. For instance, if I create a new file here, let's call it test. We can see the file in every container. But the root file system is not the same. It may look the same, but if I change to list view, then we can see that Fedora has, for instance, an AFS folder and there is no such folder elsewhere. Then if you take a look inside the bin folder, we can see the content is definitely not the same. Let's take a look at the bash executable, which on Fedora has 1.4 megabytes. 1.4 on Fedora, on Arch. We have bash with 1.1 megabytes. Here it is, 1.1. And on Debian, bash has 1.3 megabytes. Here it is. It might look like that they are sharing the same root file system, but they're not. Basically, the only thing they share is the home folder and also some environment variables from the base system. That's why all the containers know that they are running inside the GNOME desktop environment. But keep in mind that containers are not sharing applications with each other, only with the base system. That's also why the base system can access every application in every container. If you like my videos and also want to support me, I also have a Patreon page. I really appreciate all the support I get and it's because of your support that I can make videos like this one. So thank you very much and the link to Patreon is up there or down in the description. Running GUI applications inside containers is nice, but did you know that you can run a full desktop environment inside a container? In a previous video, I showed you how you can run the full Kali XFCE desktop inside a Docker container on Windows. So if you want to run the Kali XFCE desktop on Windows yourself, then you can check out the link to the video up there or down in the description. 
And that's all for this video. Thank you very much for watching. If you like this video, then like and subscribe. And if you really like the video, down there is a super thanks. So you can buy me a coffee, for instance, so I can make more of those awesome videos. Thank you very much and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.